again, it, it's, it's about priorities. So we have about 2,000 miles of poor to very poor conditioned roads. We have 153 red listed bridges. Some of them, this is one of the highest numbers uh, in the country of red listed bridges. Um, these are where our priorities need to go. We haven't finished I-93. We haven't finished the Sarah Long Bridge into Maine, right? So we need to take care of these projects that are first and foremost on our plate. Um, there are other projects that are, that are important to be sure. Um, you know, we, we've looked at uh, you know, increasing, um, you know, adju addressing the turnpike system. Um, we talk a lot about renewable energy projects. We talk a lot about school building. Aid. These are all, or, or making sure our transmission infrastructure is where it needs to be. Again, to help lower our costs to the individual businesses and, and, and homeowners within the state. So infrastructure is absolutely critical in a small state like New Hampshire, a state that's centralized to the entire New England region. Um, we have to get our priorities straight and we have to make tough decisions to get those projects done. Well, so I don't know if it's, if we don't have a problem with the funding of it, but we have to prioritize that funding for two often you know we raid funds to use them on other projects and what we have to do is prioritize that spending and say no this is money that we've designated and we've set aside and said this belongs to infrastructure it's very tempting for politicians to reach into that pot of money and pull it out because it's okay if we have a few more potholes but when we do that we shortchange our future and that's just bad policy well certainly we've done um that with the increase in the gas tax and in Senate finance we um, included language to make sure that that increase went towards the repair of roads and bridges and uh, we I think we need to look at ways what we can be creative in the future when we look at money that we get from the federal government this idea of maybe we should talk to the federal government about can we do block grants can we, uh, when you give us money, don't tell us how we need to spend it, let us figure it out, because we know better how to spend our money and where it needs to be spent versus the federal government telling us how. Well, I think the first we need to, you know, when I was in the Senate in, in 2000, the cost of uh, fixing Route 93 was $195 million. It's now over $800 million. And now we're talking about not doing the last lane because of salt. Well, we need to get away from these ideas because in New Hampshire it snows and we must make sure that we preserve our roads. And we have to continue after 93 and look for solutions throughout the entire state.